Hey peeps, today we're going to do a review of a tripod I've got. I actually got a pair. It is called, if you look it up on Amazon, the Mount Dog 78 inch slash 6.5 feet slash 200 centimeters photography tripod light stand for photo studio reflector of softbox light umbrella background video lighting studio mono light studio kits aluminum alloy. Amazon item titles these days. Hey peeps, it's future slash editing me here. I'm gonna have an uh, Amazon affiliate link to these tripods in the description below. It's something that a friend of mine told me about. He's a subscriber. You know who you are. And I've been doing some research on Amazon affiliate links and how that works. And I've decided since he was kind enough to tell me about this when my channel was new, I'm gonna go back to videos that I think may infringe on the Amazon affiliate policies and edit those, delete them off the channel and re-upload them. So if you are subscribed and you see a video you've already watched, don't be like, I've already seen this, what's happening? Just warning you ahead of time. And if you'd like to see a video about what I learned about the Amazon affiliate program, tell me in the description so that I can make that for you. Welcome to the video. This is the intro. What's it about? Well, it's about stuff and things. And before you say it, I had that phrase Long before the walking dead says me I'll be doing reviews of some other tripods and mounting solutions like for example a gimbal is a mounting solution and this gooseneck thingy is a mounting solution just to name a couple of things but first Hey, since you seem to be standing there stalking me, what? I know you're not, I'm just kidding. Can you take these two tripods? I don't know, set them on the couch. Yeah, okay. Now, until I can get that one room set up, or maybe the basement organized, you can check out I got vlogs on those. Like I gotta get more rid of more stuff in, in the studio room. I want to organize and put these in there. And also have a spot in the basement. If I'm planning on shooting in the basement, I'm not done, etc. But this is a two-pack that I got on Amazon on a sale because I, I had added it to my shopping list and was gonna get it later. So keep an eye on that. And uh hey, can you grab this box, put this over there too for now? Yeah. Right? Okay. Now these are really easy to unfold and to stand up. Start with the bottom. Hey, I think I should move that chair so that you'll be a better view of yeah, view, view for, for the, the camera. camera. Jinx. Got me again on the jinx. Yeah, go ahead, move it. Move the chair. All right, so like I was saying, once you get this here, I'll start with this one so you can see it better since other me thought of moving that. Go ahead, take all the credit. You flatten that out. That, you tighten this so it stays there. And it comes with these little rubber tips, which are pretty cool, I think. I'm going to get a focus on these.
to protect the aluminum, as it were, from damage when you pack it up. But the problem is, this part is not removable, it's permanent. So if you do damage this, you have to replace the whole thing. I leave them on when I'm not using it, and I'm gonna have to find a way to organize it so I know, always know where they are. But after this part is out, you can extend it that part to that far, and that part that far. I wonder if you could see that. It's beyond the height of this. So obviously if I'm filming this scene, I could have something higher than me, a light or a curtain, if there was a rod connecting the two of these. So the, the idea was when I was watching these on Amazon, in my wish list was that maybe someday I'll play around with green screen. I don't have a green screen yet, but need something that would be tall enough to hold a green screen. Let's get a little rubber stop off. All right, I'm gonna pause past slash filming me here just for a second, because in this video, I did have to cut out how much I paid for the tripods because that's against the Amazon affiliate policies. However, I did put it in the description. It's a top thing, so you can click it just to see how affordable it is. I was to remind you that it was at one price, and I had watched it, waiting for it, not necessarily for its price to go down. I was waiting for my need for it to come up. But then the Amazon app told me that it was on sale. I clicked it, and I was like, whoa, and I bought it. So just FYI. And now I have two of them. That's pretty great. So they're, they're sturdy, but oops, I just punched the ceiling. Sorry for the violence. I don't know how much weight they can hold though, because it wants to start collapsing when I push on it. Of course, I'm pushing on it pretty hard. But once I get down to this far, it won't go down anymore. So let's see if they're a liar with the measurements. They said 78 inch, 6.5 feet, 200 centimeters. Centimeters. Uh, 78 inches. I'm seeing 75. Yeah, it's about 75. So that's because I pushed down on it and it's not wanting to go down anymore. So 75 is pretty good. So that's pretty solid investment in my opinion. And that's as high up as it goes. I keep punching the ceiling. So you can, I can use these for all kinds of things. Well, I've used it for shooting this, this one video with my son about us acting like robots, which isn't out yet. Get subscribed if you want to see that. I've shot all my basement scenes. Well, that's a good idea. I'll show you guys how I shoot my, my basement scenes with these. Take this and set it up. And I'll take this and set it up. And this. Okay. How much are you going to carry? All right, I've got three tripods here. Yeah. Can you grab that light on top of the fridge go and ahead. the gimbal and follow me down? Yeah, go ahead. I'm coming. Look at me making a face. All 
All right, so you see a little bit about what I do in the basement here. They'll give you an idea of how useful these tripods are. Now this one I'll do a review on later. It's a selfie tripod. I like it because of its height. I can take this tripod off the bottom of the gimbal and stick it on here and then uh, get this. Oh, that's where other me put the light. Me part two. Then what I like to do is take one of these point it a little bit of a downward angle. I'll be doing a review on this light later. Get subscribed so you can see a review on that. Like that. Now I'm actually going to show you with this other one the lighting. I'm going to change the lighting I did for shooting this to what I use on the desk. So you can see how important the tripods are. These are just shop clamp lights. And if I'm pointing them at my face, I diffuse them with parchment paper. All right, got the lights all set up like I'd be working on the, at the desk. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, can you... Mm, what? Sit in the chair and just pose and be pretty. Yeah, no problem. So I can show people the differences with the light. All right, and now this is what it's like the light on, on the tripod. And here it is off. Give us a smile, show us what it's like when it's off. And here it is, what it's like when it's on. Hey, are we done down here? Yeah, pretty much. Really? Okay. I'm done. Oh wait, with you. Do you need me to carry up any um, gimbals or tripods or anything? No, if I need anything, I'll take it up. All right, you can go. Fine, oh, I think I'll just um, disappear from your consciousness. Huh? Did I just see what I thought I saw? Yeah, this was new for me. Other me is usually there or not there. He doesn't ever really just go poo for something. All right, this is stopped. Stop that one now. So I think this tripod is a great value for the money. I get a lot out of it. I didn't even go over the minimum height. So if you push it down there to where all the way down. Thirty six inches. Just believe me. So many gimbals that are short. You could use this for short stuff. And I use other tripods for short stuff, but I could in a pinch. And it's, you, you just watch, I'm just naturally, I'm packing up for the night. How easy it is to work with these things. Go the other way. This packs down to be... Twenty seven inches long. Like I said earlier, keep them in the box if they're not sitting in the basement standing up. So I think I'll be doing something in the basement later this week, a video. If my Wi Fi com card comes in from my laptop. Let's get subscribed for that. Another one where I broke one of my gooseneck mounts for cell phones and lights and things but 
In terms of mounting things, lights, smartphone mount or whatever, having something that goes really tall is super important. And these are cheap. If you're careful with them, they won't break. It's really, it's a really good option as a starter kit for tripods, especially if you need something tall. So I hope I gave you all the information you needed regarding the Mount Dog 78 inch photography tripod light stand. Blah, 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 name that goes on for days. I've been Robert Jean, signing out. What was with me part two going and disappearing? Was that in my head? Click the things on the side so you can see other stuff.